Have you ever been confused by how to divide a polynomial by another polynomial? In other words, using polynomial long division? Well, if you had, this is the video for you because I'm gonna show you exactly how to go through these problems in the easiest possible way. And by the end of this video, you should be feeling a lot more confident and comfortable with solving polynomial long division problems. So if that sounds good, be sure to stick around to the end of the video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into it. So we're again gonna use long division to divide 6x cubed minus 16x squared plus 17x minus six, all divided by 3x minus two. So again, I would always just start out by writing big long first and then put your division sign and then whatever this little polynomial is out here. So just like we did in the last example, just gonna start by looking at this biggest, highest power x term over here, the highest power x term over here. Now, we, will, we would want to do this one that's inside the divisor sign divided by this one. So 3x cubed divided by 3x, or I'm sorry, 6x cubed. 6x cubed divided by 3x. If we simplify this down, the 6 will cancel with the 3 and turn it into a 2. The x cubed will change to x squared and cancel with this x. So we're just going to have 2x squared here. So we would write 2x squared. Then we take this term that we just wrote up here multiply it by both of the terms or all of the terms that are over here. So 2x squared times 3x gives us 6x cubed. 2x squared times negative 2 gives us minus 4x squared. Then we subtract this whole thing in parentheses from the polynomial that we had up here. So 6x cubed minus 6x cubed gives us 0 negative 16 x squared minus negative so minus negative is going to turn into a plus so negative 16 x squared plus 4 x squared is going to turn to negative 12 x squared then you just carry down both of these terms here so plus 17 x minus 6 okay so now we have this new polynomial we're just going to look at the leading term the highest power x term, so negative 12x, and the highest power x term of this one. So if we do now negative 12x squared divided by 3x, what is that going to leave us with? Well, it's going to be negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4, and then x squared divided by x is just x, so negative 4x. So we'll write your negative 4x. Then you just do negative 4x times each of these terms here. So negative 4x times 3x is negative 12x squared negative 4x times negative 2, positive 8x. And then one more time, we're going to do minus, in parentheses, this whole thing from this whole polynomial here. So you're going to get negative 12x squared minus negative 12x squared would be negative 12x squared plus 12x squared, which is just 0. So a bit of a shortcut or kind of something to keep in mind, a way to kind of keep yourself accountable and make sure you are doing this right. Each time you subtract this highest power X term from the polynomial above and then subtract this one from below it, it should always end up at zero just for this first leading term, at least. It may end up going to zero for some of these other ones as well, um, but the first one should be zero. Otherwise you put the wrong number up here or the wrong term up here. So that's kind of a good way to kind of double check that we got at least this first term here right. Okay, then we're going to have 17x minus 8x. 17 minus 8 would be 9. So we'll have 9x plus 9x and then carry down the negative 6. Okay. Um, and then we pretty much just repeat. So this is, you know, kind of a nice process because it's really the same like three steps just repeated over and over and over until you get down to something that can't divide anymore. So if you are getting some value out of this video so far, do me a huge favor, hit that like button down below, subscribe, hit that bell icon while you're down there too. So you can keep checking in on these weekly live streams, get your questions answered live, and uh, we'll keep growing the Jake's Math Lessons community together. But um, anyway, back to the problem here. We'll take this 9x now. Now we want to look at this leading term, positive 9x. We do 9x divided by 3x. In, that, in this case, it's going to be 3. So 9x divided by 3x is 3. So we put a plus 3 up here. Then we do 3 times each of these terms over here. 
So 3 times 3x gives us 9x. 3 times negative 2 gives us negative 6. And then, again, we are going to subtract this whole thing from this whole thing. So 9x minus 9x gives us 0. Negative 6 minus negative 6 is the same as negative 6 plus 6. Also gives us zero. So once you get down to all zeros down here, that tells you that this polynomial that you have up here is the result of dividing this one in here divided by this one over here. And if there's only zeros at the end, that tells you there's no remainder. And that's all there is to it. Not so bad, right? Hopefully you're feeling like polynomial long division is a little bit easier. But trust me, you don't want to stop there. I'm going to be coming out with another video soon that you're not going to want to miss that shows a slightly different type of example, how to deal with remainders. So if you're watching this right after I posted it, go hit that subscribe button down below and that bell icon, turn on notifications so you don't miss it. But if you're watching this a little later, I'll come back and put that video right there showing you how to deal with remainders in polynomial long division. You're definitely going to want to go check that out.